Wonder Woman. Holy So, as you may have already seen, I absolutely love this movie. I was expecting it to be like amazing from all the reviews that I saw and read before going into the movie. So walking into it, I kind of lowered my expectations and was like, this may not be as good as you think it's going to be, but now having seen it last night, Oh my God, that is, words can't even describe. Like, I know the past DCU movies haven't been the greatest and have been very divisive among fans, but me, myself, I really loved Man of Steel. I liked Batman vs. Superman, but Suicide Squad um, just wasn't the movie for me, so I was really hopeful that this would be the one to kind of right the ship. And I think it has done that. I think because it takes place a hundred years before all the events currently going on in the DCU, it doesn't have to set up a further universe and can be its own story. And that's where I think it's uh, greatest. Even though it kind of does tie into other characters in the DCEU, it's very small, and that's what I think really makes this movie great. The characters are just fantastic, and the actors who play them really uh, make that happen. The chemistry between Gal Gadot and Chris Pine is just un unbelievable, and I really felt for the characters throughout the story and that's really the best thing that you can have in a movie. That was, that's what makes movies good for me when you kind of feel for the characters and understand what they're going through. And I had that in this movie. And as you may have seen in the trailers, it starts out with uh, young Diana in Themyscira and her character is so developed that it make, really makes you care for her throughout the film and I've seen some reviews that say the villain isn't so great um, even though I somewhat understand that um, I think that they set the villain up perfectly throughout the movie Marvel also has this problem too with villains I think this was better than most Marvel villains because they really develop it throughout the story and they don't just pop up at the third act at the end and say, oh, I'm bad, I just need something to fight. Uh, this villain really has like motivation and reason to be there and fight Diana. And that brings me to the action scenes, which are so perfectly directed. You can see everything, <clears throat> Transformers. Yeah, the directing and the, the storytelling is just beautiful in this. And some complaints about the older movies as well was that it's very dark and dreary and this one has just colors everywhere and you can it make it's really lighthearted as well like all the comedy throughout like the last ADC movies there weren't much comedy but on in this movie there's a ton of comedy it doesn't seem like forced into it like forced into the script it's just natural it comes throughout the situation and I think the actors really do it very well I know how they were saying like that they need to make it more lighthearted like Marvel, but I don't think that really stands out as much because the comedy is so natural. And that's what really makes this movie special because it, all, it has heartfelt beats throughout the movie while also being funny and action packed. So that's why this is like such a great movie and I really recommend you seeing it. Now, most comic book movies have third act problems like probably 50% of the last comic book movies in the past five years have had a beam shooting up in the sky and aliens going everywhere like that type of third, third act this one isn't really like that but also again because you feel for the characters and you 
understand their motivations. But my only small problem with this movie was something that happens in the third act, which I can't really discuss since this is a non-spoiler review. If you guys want, I can upload a spoiler review and delve into that maybe a couple days after the release. And so, yeah. This is a great movie. It's probably in my top 10 superhero films of all time. I would rate this a 9.5 out of 10. Definitely go see this movie. And now I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my channel that I'm starting. So movies are like basically my life. It's what I do whenever I don't have anything else to do. I probably watch hundreds and hundreds of movies a year. And so I figured I could just start up a YouTube channel and kind of share my thoughts on all the movies I watch, especially the new releases. I'll be making reviews on pretty much every big release this summer and throughout the year. So if you think you want to go see a movie and you don't know if it's good or not, just come check into my channel. Probably have a review up for it and I'll tell you my thoughts. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite movie is and I will respond and tell you what I think about it. So make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.